Alrighty, let's use the same brown color that we did for the trees. And in the lower left center of the canvas, we're just going to create a slightly thicker, opaque line than we did with the trees. Um, like so. So it's going to go from the bottom left right here to the middle of the canvas right here. And it should be on an angle. So I'm basically going to go like this. I'm just going to mark it out like so. The log should be kind of pointed at the ends because it's going into the water and the light from the painting is coming from this upper left corner so we're going to take the brown color we just used add a little white to it brighten it up a little bit and create a highlight along the upper fourth of the log For the other three quarters, we're going to use a dark brown, not a black, because that's actually what we're going to use as the shadow in the water. So we're going to use a dark brown, and you're just going to want to cover the rest of the log. We use the other brown as a base color for the log. And I'm just going to use this dark brown color. like that. We're going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to highlight it. We're going to take the base brown color that we used and I'm just going to create tiny little lines on the log with this color. And you can do this all over the log because on the bottom part there's going to be highlights with this color on the top part this color will make lowlights. Okay, so we're just going to use yellow to highlight it. Just like the same thing that we did before. So now you have a highlighted and low lighted. So we're going to do the turtles next, but before we start, I just wanted to share some information on the painted turtle, which is the type of turtle that we are painting today, which uh, is kind of ironic, huh? Um, so I learned something interesting about the color of the stripe on the painted turtles. There are these molecules called dietary carotenoids, which are brightly colored molecules that are commonly found in foods like carrots, tomatoes, peppers, mangoes, sweet potatoes, oranges, apricots, you get the gist. And basically um, what this one study found was that the higher amount of these molecules in the painted turtle's diet caused an increase in red and yellow coloring of these stripes. You really are what you eat, huh? <laughs> now, of course, we can't be certain, but the painted turtles we're painting today, which are based on the ones from Sugar Pond, have bright yellow stripes. So maybe they're getting a lot of dietary carotenoids in their diet. We're going to use my favorite color, black. So on the middle of the log, right there. Now 
middle top. We're going to take the black and we're going to paint an oval. We're going to do it right here. And it's going to be like so. And then we're also going to paint an oval on the very back, but the difference, it, they're going to be like slightly different shapes. This one's going to be more like this. 